I kind of feel like I've been doing one too many reaction videos. <laughs> but there's a lot of interesting stuff to see there on the internet, you know? There's a lot of lot of things popping up on YouTube for me on my like on my homepage. So like this one, I thought this would be kind of interesting to see. This is a summary of a like a, a how-to VTuber design. Ooh, you know. So I thought we could check this out. It's a oh my okay. It's, it's a twenty-eight. It's a, it's a twenty-eight long video, and it's a summary. How long was the original? Probably like a stream that was like three hours long or something. <laughs> but yeah, I'll do a, I'll do a reaction to this, and then what I was thinking was maybe do like a I've got like a I've got like a YouTube short summary. Of this video that I want to do. <laughs> I thought it might be kind of funny. Okay, pause the video right there. So this part that I'm trying to talk about is, well basically I was going to do like a, a recreation, it was supposed to be like a VTuber version of a, a episode 100 of Gintama. It's the part where he's trying to show, uh, like it's like this gorilla character, he's trying, <laughs> he's trying to show this gorilla like the, the purpose of like a, the silhouette. And so I thought I was going to do like a VTuber version of that and it'd be like a really funny uh, skit remake kind of stuff. But the music is banned in all countries. I've already tried once before with a YouTube show. I used the, the music that was in Gintama in a YouTube show and it got banned in all countries. <laughs> so I had to remake the damn thing and have a different BGM in it. So... Uh, this idea that I had for the YouTube show that's supposed to be like like a like a super condensed summary skip funny version of this with it being like a Gintama reference, yeah, it's not possible. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> and it, I just I can't post it on YouTube. I can't post it on YouTube or uh, just anyway because it's just copyrighted. It's got copyrighted music in it. So uh, I'm thinking of giving up on this idea simply because of that. But unless I can find like a non copyrighted similar version to the theme that I'm wanting, then I'll, I'll consider it, but it's most likely just not going to happen. I could post it on Twitter, maybe, but ah, nobody's going to see it on Twitter. Maybe Reddit. I don't have a Reddit account. Anyways, it is what it is. So uh, unfortunately, this idea is uh, thrown out the window slash on the shelf. It's been chucked out the window, but it's landed on, on, on the uh, windowsill, on the edge. <laughs> Anyways, okay, back to the video. No promises. But yeah, let's let's check this out. Let's have a look at it. Let's see what let's see what let's see let's see how to be a VTuber designer, basically, you know? What it is that we need to look for. Start off the stream by saying this is just for fun, okay? We have a small disclaimer here. Oh. I'm gonna go over a few designs and I'm breaking down a certain pattern I've noticed in a lot of VTuber designs and a lot of successful VTuber designs. I'm not claiming my VTuber design is successful, okay? I, I have myself in the slides as well. It's just look kind of interesting though. Pink and white like with the red. Breaking other people's designs yes. apart like I did with my own. Probably has so a huge needle. That's just a small disclaimer. I'm not patting myself on the back here. Um, ow! If you're gonna follow these steps, it's not guaranteed that you'll have a very successful VTuber design. And Aww. if you are not following the steps, it can still happen that you're gonna pop off big. And, you know, please don't take this the wrong way. Please don't twist my words. <laughs> please don't say I, uh, like, claim to, like, okay, have a set of rules you have to follow. But I feel like this can be, like, an interesting thing to go over and keep in mind. Because I've noticed a bunch of times... That not everybody is like they, they they sometimes don't know where to start or what to keep in mind when they want to design a VTuber design. I've seen people just doing I don't know a persona and um then they're like confused why nobody you know wants uh to draw their design and it's like listen, I get it because I also have a bad design example done by oh myself okay at the end of the slide she has, and I'm gonna break she's got knowledge and first hand experience is what I'm hearing. Also, what I'm what I'm also hearing is uh, all those people with first owners, the fairies out there that have tried to be PNG tubers, VTubers, and it's not worked out. You know, it is what it is. The game's the game, guys. The game's the game. Design is bad for a VTuber, I'm playing not necessarily Anyways. bad designing in itself. Okay, so design can be good, but it's just not the right medium. So let's begin. Number one, please keep the medium oh. in mind. And in order medium. for me to break down. How to keep the medium in mind, okay? We're gonna ah. have game characters. We have these characters, and don't get me wrong, okay. they're amazing Genshin. designs, they have a lot of detail, a lot of culture. I don't remember this character's name, so I just called him Legs. That they necessarily work for and uh, she's, uh, I don't remember her name. Something in their characters that is intended for gameplay. And you know I do remember getting her in a poll. Design. Every character's back 
has a very detailed design or something going on that is important for the character to be viewed, you know. Because this, this is because we can only see the back, though. It's, it's the a third-person game. Them, and then you only see yeah. the character's backside. That's why you also have sometimes hair from a long-haired Genshin character. That yeah, it gets... Yeah, to, like, like this. The, um, what's it called? <laughs> the vision? <laughs> but, but yeah, um, this design is very detailed. But also his colors fall very flat, which is something you'll notice when we go over the color palette thingy later. Um, so it works for, you know, gaming, but it doesn't really work for streaming because you have so much shit going on, you don't know where to look. Maybe it's like a like a second or third outfit or something, you know? Maybe. And same goes for John. Oh, but uh, a lot of people, they have like the first avatar, the, not the avatar, the first live 2D, like the model. And then the second one's like kind of not plain, but... More simplified, like you know, like like a just like a t-shirt or a hoodie, you know, pajamas. Like he has so much From what I've seen, anyways. Here with his like pattern and everything, but if he were to be a VTuber, everything would be cut off, and he doesn't. Yeah, you don't see like the top. Recognizable silhouette as well, like it's just forty percent. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying keep the medium in mind. Your design isn't necessarily bad just because it's quote unquote bad for streaming, if you get what I'm saying, okay? Because these character designs are very good. These are good character yeah. designs, but I just don't think they would work as good um, for streaming. And uh, let's move on, okay? So let's break down why this character works for streaming. Isn't First she the controversial all, VTuber? I don't know, I can't remember. A clear color palette, okay? We have the white and the black as base colors. And yeah. We have poppy colors like um, the pink and the yellow that gives. Okay, so it's not too monochrony. Mono. Like, what's the word? Monochronous. Iconic thunderbolts. I think that's what they're called. You know. But basically, it has some color to make a pop. Fine for uh, streaming because you have a theme going on. She's following said theme, and even if you cut off this part here, you still see stuff that's going on for streaming without yep. having to rely on the design in the bottom. You have her twin tails that work very well for streaming. Um, you have these little bows that are also very recognizable. Yeah, we, we love Leah here, okay? Um, recently, she also got more hair cuts. Uh, like she, she got like toggles, but I didn't get the pictures for that. So I'm very sorry. <laughs> and each of them are working very much fine for streaming. Like she's not overloading her design with too much detail because the thing is, you also have to keep riggers in mind, okay? Is that easy to rig? I'm not a rigger. Yeah, it must be like a pain. So it must be a pain for the rigger. All the things on Vlooks uniform before, because she doesn't have too many cluttered things on there. The I'm not to subtitle me saying that, aren't I? Open shoulders break it up a little bit, and it's just it it seems balanced, is what I'm saying, okay? Anyways, this uh, first part will make more sense later on, but I'm gonna go silhouette, silhouette test. Silhouette yes. Test now. So what is the silhouette test? Basically, who is VTuber are these? Oh wait, I'm in the way. Um, can you recognize these VTubers? Type yes and chat. no. Type in chat if you can recognize them. One in here. Is I don't know the last two, but I know the first two. Well, I know the first one and then the second one I'm watching right now. We're reacting to the second one right now. You do not see any colors. You don't see any um details. You only see the shape. These VTubers, this one very unintentionally, work with shapes to generate a design that will be recognizable. So yeah. if you want to work on a VTuber, I have no idea who the second start, second two are at the, at the end. Drawing a blacked out silhouette. Just like, you know, go in, zoom out of the canvas and just work with shapes. Shapes that you think will be recognizable and then later fill, fill in the details, okay? I feel like not many people keep that in mind or many people overlook that you should work with shapes in order to, you know, get a recognizable design going. Okay, so let's move on. 40% rule. Oh, this is what I just said then, about, you know, the top half. 40%. Keep in mind, like, what are you seeing of me right now? You do not see my legs. You don't even see my torso, really. She um, has legs? You only no, see, kidding. at best, 30 to 40% of me, okay? So, you see this VTuber here? She has... A very recognizable silhouette. Yeah. Um, she would definitely pass. Oh yeah, definitely, the definitely with the, with yeah, the head attachments and stuff. Not only does she have these uh, cyber bunny ear thingies and the rings on her hair, she also has the cables. So that definitely works very well. Um, as I think I did something kind of like this when I was, when I first in history started drawing a, uh, a character that had like a crab hairstyle. <laughs> but the focus of the it just it just how my hair looked at the time when I had a hairband in. It was like a windy day as well, and when I looked at a reflection of myself, my hair looked like a crab. So I thought, oh, that's kind of funny. I should draw that. 
balance like cut here with the with the jacket and then it breaks open to uh, reveal like a little bit of titty because <laughs> titty is very important basically mm, yes focus the important and or the very interesting part to be designed on this part the part that will people see the most often i have one more example just because i like showing more than one example but here we have the same thing he would definitely pass the silhouette test because um this like the bunny ears and the the piercings and the earring he's got going on very recognizable and again he also has this um demon tail thingy also very recognizable he doesn't have too much going on on the leg department that looks like a tool of root tail see the legs all the action is playing here your legs can still be fancy okay but nobody's gonna look at your legs when you stream i'm sorry so now let's go over to color palettes color palettes is big such no one's gonna see my legs i don't even have legs this free this free model doesn't have legs <laughs> here's like a, the top part of the thigh and then that's it so i just figure color palettes okay noticed a lot of youtubers a lot of popular and what to look out for do. that is inami yoki she's very cute. yes she recently had a redebut with this design before that she had a different design but the important part about her new design is that she still kept the same color palette more or less she never really stayed uh, straight away from the cyan and the orange that was like always part of her design and she also always had like white in her design um, so that's like very interesting to note that if you do have a color palette, it's best if you should, you know, kind of stick to it throughout your various ah. designs. Obviously, you can do a 180 if you want to, but you don't need to. But basically, I broke down some of the color palette things I noticed as some YouTubers do. So we have like two neutral colors, which is the brown and the white. These uh, work as a base, as a neutral base. Then you have the accent color, which is the gold, because she has a lot of gold accents in her design. And then you have the two to three poppy colors that work to bring out um, the life in the design. Because I normally really dislike orange as a color, okay? But I cannot imagine her design without the orange. And I feel like she made it work. She it made was me good. like the color. This is how good she was with the color palette, guys. Can you imagine the power this VTuber holds if they can make you like a color? That's the importance of color palettes, okay? I'm not, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back here, okay? But I follow a similar um, pattern of having two new neutral colors as a base i have the white as a neutral color my design is mostly white and then i have the red the pinkish red and the blue as a poppy color working for itself because i have a lot of red in my design yeah um even though this is my hair color it's still more of an accent to the whole design okay it works as an accent color more so as a poppy color and this one also has the same eye color as my uh, the, uh, the, uh, same color so you didn't have a poppy again. color on the outfit so you could make it your hair that's design. the pop out color but let me tell you my design wasn't always as bad if you didn't already go over how i improved my design because it wasn't always that good okay, okay so there's like a, a before and after design okay let, let me have that i found out it's the best thing to limit oh still on the color palette okay six colors as main colors obviously your um I'm not, I'm not gonna pause this video too much because i feel like it'll just be even longer than what it already is but I feel like I'm not really reacting too much to this. This is kind of SS Sniper Wolf quality, and I don't like that. And here we have a good design example of somebody who doesn't have a lot of color variations going on, but it's still very balanced. She's not overdoing it. She doesn't even use a lot of different colors on different parts of the design, like we saw before with Yoki, because she has a brown and orange in the middle, and then blue on top, and she doesn't even have that. I don't think it would go with the theme of this character anyway, as the orange and stuff. Her design is like very balanced, because all the action is like going on here. She has those little octopus ear thingies. Then she has that bow here that uh, yep. has like a special pattern on it that's very cute. She could make merch out of this, okay, if she wanted to. Probably. <laughs> like it, it's very marketable. She has the blank. Maybe with that little bag. And she has that blue here that pops up and the purse. breaks up the design a little bit. And then she just has very neutral legs because nobody cares about your legs. <laughs> and then we have Nemo. She's a very great artist, by the way. Check her out. She recently started streaming as well. Her design. Also very balanced because you have the blue as the middle color and this yep. one as like an accent. Base. And then she has the poppy color being her red because it like breaks up the design again and just gives a splash of color. Her legs have mainly white stockings going on with uh, a small pattern on it. I'm very sorry I couldn't show it here, but it's like very balanced. Um, and again, it's another neutral color to put pull the entire design together, okay? Um, so yeah, 
About color palettes, long story short, limit yourself to neutral. I just realized her, her mouse arrow thingy is a, a needle, a syringe. Don't go overboard with the colors, okay? Because um, it can throw your design off balance very quick. Next part, you theme aesthetic or niche. Okay, on to the next one, on to the next one. All right, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go for something. Niche theme. So she's going with like a nurse theme, nurse doctor ill. Holy shit. Okay, mentally ill. She's she's a schizo theme. <laughs> I want to go for that sci-fi fantasy theme. That's what I wanted. That's what I like. That's what I'm into, anyways. But I also like oh, I also like I also like seventies movies, eighties, you know, like Bruce Lee, James Bond, Indiana Jones. You know, I like I like the good old the, like the classics. Predator, and also watch the good movies, you know. Nineties, nineties had some good stuff going on. Yeah, straight to the point. Zombie and nurse. Ooh, is that one supposed to be a plague doctor? Yeah. Very easy to recognize, okay? Plague and doctor. The mask, even without the mask, I feel like you can see that she has a medical theme going on. She looks like a straight up anime character. Like she would be in a TV show or a manga. That's the sort of plague doctor I see in her. Also ties in very well. Um, you can just recognize it immediately because also her bow here yeah. has that plague doctor thing. So if you you know she she has some gothic shit going on, okay? But um to fall back to other VTubers, you probably know your Flesh. Her uh VTuber. Good artist, very good artist. Easy. Yes. You recognize she's an Oni. Uh, then we have Hacker's Bells from Earth. Isn't she a stinky you know she's Oni? A Okay, you, you see her um, design is chaotic, and she's a rat, you know she has to do with chaos, and you know, rats, it's like two things, because um, sometimes I've seen people being like, oh, I'm an evil overlord, demon queen, cat, alien, idol, uh, Holy moly. a gamer, and like, you have too many themes. Too much stuff in there, that's kind of cluttered. Try to limit yourself to like two or three themes max, um, yeah. don't go overboard. I saw another VTuber, her, her thingy is being a bat, and she chose a specific breed of bats, I guess, I forgot the name. But basically, if you want to be a cat girl, you can be a normal ass cat girl, or you can choose a specific oh, kind of like a... a specific pattern on their back, and then you can be this specific breed of cat. Fuck, okay? I forgot her name. This is how you can uh, choose a niche. There's an alien space cat girl on Twitch. So you don't always have to combine it with something if you don't wanna. But I would uh, recommend you to at least go for two things, so you switch it up a little, limit yourself, do not go overboard. Sometimes less is more, okay? You can still yeah. have a niche, even if your design is broad. Because you may have seen a lot of nurse VTubers out there, but how many of them are also zombies? Or you may have seen a lot of zombie VTubers out there, but how many of them are also nurses, you know? Okay, also very important, please. Fan arts, please, okay, okay, please. okay. Gotta keep this in mind, fan apparently. In mind, okay? You need to keep fan artists in mind. Is your design good to be fan arted? Yes or no? Obviously, don't sacrifice uh, depends. Or fan artists, but fan depends artists on the fan artist, doesn't it? Backbone of VTubers. How do you easily get recognition by seeing the fucking design floating around the internet? Okay, so if everybody's drawing you, okay, everybody will at least recognize you, even if they don't watch you. Okay, they they know. Okay, I've seen this bitch before. Yeah, like everybody knows who yeah. Gagura is. Very important. But let's go over it together. Okay, let's go over it a little. I'm sure you get like a big idea to draw her from memory. Complex for people to draw. And will it resonate with people? Okay, I'm gonna Reason use furries it. as an example here. Please don't hate me. But basically, if you're gonna become a furry VTuber, you have to keep in mind that furry is not for everybody, and you yeah. lose a large chunk of people who would maybe find you interesting just because of how your model looks. And that's just a sad reality, okay? You can have the most interesting personality, but if people are not into furry and you have a furry design, chances are they're not even gonna give you the time to check you out. And I'm not saying you have to like become a humanoid VTuber, do whatever you want, okay? But keep in mind that maybe some designs resonate more with people than others, okay? For example, I'm a fanboy VTuber. Not everybody is into fanboys. I'm very aware of that. What? That I cannot uh, <laughs> uh, score points with titties because I have no titties, okay? It's the same kind of thing. Also, another thing. If something about your design is forgotten. Is this a boy or a girl? Doesn't draw it, will it still be recognizable? 
That is very important because imagine your entire design is based off only um, with the outfit. And if you then change the outfit, nobody will recognize you anymore. That would be fucking sucky, okay? So keep in mind that even if somebody draws you in a different outfit... So it doesn't go back to the whole like silhouette kind of thing? That it will still be recognizable. I have As well? Okay, so listen. I have received over 300 fan arts in my time of being... Holy moly. Of so being, fast. Of having this Did I just see boobas? I have so many fan arts. And obviously, people forgot some part of my design. Sometimes people forgot my heart, I hope. Sometimes people even forget my hair dangles, okay? Um, people can forget stuff. Sometimes people forget the colorful hair strands in my hair, okay? But my design is still recognizable because of other stuff i've included in that design yeah um <laughs> that's not a weird flex but they are okay. flexing that's accumulating of many many years of having this design around okay this design exists since uh 2015 okay it's been oh my god <laughs> sheesh so <laughs> yes very baby outfit, okay? oh okay so there's the before and after <laughs> okay like the first design and the this. current one It's not good for fan arts. It's, it's not. not good for VTubers. It's so cluttered. It's um, so... The artist and rigor who would have to do that would probably die of a stroke if they ever had to rig so many... They would be cursing you for all eternity if they had to rig so, yeah, that. Um, there we have the test. Am I still recognizable? Look at me. No color, still recognizable. No outfit, still recognizable. Different hairstyle, I would say still recognizable. This is basically what I've... Uh, tried to teach you guys um your color palette is important okay. but you okay. need okay. to work without it same for your outfit your outfit is important but your vtuber have to work so your vtuber has got to be recognizable with color. and without yes, clothes it still should be recognizable as you okay and then we have variations oh and again i take my lessons on anatoly <laughs> as example because this is her original design okay and she has these very iconic bunnies in her hair and the thing with her is if you were to draw her just naked, no bunny, you would think, okay, that's like a, a normal blonde girl, okay? But the thing is, she always keeps some sort of pink in her design. She yeah. also, um, for this design, um, she has the bunny ears in every iteration of her design, in every variation. Um, she Shot has the bunny hair pin there in, in the, uh, the, the Yokata design, one, on the, the, on the, the, on the far right. She has it on her design. And the thing with this design, which I personally thought was really, really good, the obi and the obidome is literally yeah. mimicking Bunnies. that fucking bunny. The obidome mimicking the, oh, the eyes of the bunny and the obi itself mimicking the bunny. You obi. can't see it in that angle, but she's wearing the bunny as a hair clip. And this right here is a nod to her fan base because this is the mask of ah. uh, Sente. But yeah, variations of your design should also work. So keep that in mind when you design your uh, character that it can also work without the main outfit. And then design aspects. Now we're gonna. We're 19 minutes in. Okay. Holy what shit. You have been waiting for. <laughs> so, what is this? Improving our design. design. Okay. That was 2016. Um, it was a nurse uniform. I didn't have any good recognizable shit going on other than my hair. Yeah. Um, keep in mind the eye color is still the same. Very bland. It's just white with a little bit of pink here. It's 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 very one color. It's, it's not very balanced at all. You don't have any accent color. You don't have anything that catches your eye. And of course... Look at that. She went, from a, she, went, she went from a nurse with too many hairpins to, uh, like to with being a, nurse. a nurse with um, bondage colors. straps and, why, why did I put and, and a put shit ton of stuff fastened to her. Just stuck on her. It all the plasters. Not the uh, the band-aids. My bad. My bad, Americans. We the band-aids. Okay? We, we finally added some pop to the design. We added some garters that made it a little bit better. Uh, we added yeah. a weapon belt because, of course, I need the weapon belt. But is it good for VTubing? No. No, it's not. It's very, like, bottom heavy. You have so much shit going on here. Very overloaded. Uh, also, I have a different kind of blue that I have with my eyes. It's just two different kinds of blue. Then we have uh, pink and pink again and then red. It's, it's not balanced at all. So, what changed? Uh. <laughs> there we go. So this one was not bad, but this is how we are, where we are now, okay? Um, we still have like... I wonder if, she has, I wonder if that clipboard is like a, an emo or something that she's got on her avatar. Uh, on her model. Color, we got rid of you know, like she just presses, uh... <laughs> fucking, I don't know, like 9 on the number pad. And it pops that out. Vibes, you know I mean. so she's scribbling. Zoom in a little, okay? 
Drew Clitzer, so balanced, easy, recognizable. Okay. My hair. We got rid of all that random bullshit because it was like literally so cluttered, and we made it easy. We have two main. Easy hair, peasy. Bayonet, one cross. Very easy. This is so also long, dude. My eyes. Uh, that color was unified to be more in that color. It's more harmonizing with my um hair. The hair strands are also more balanced out. We we just like this a little bit more, okay? Also, the ahoga is way thicker. Um, I guess ahoga. <laughs> well, the ahoga. <laughs> what is that? That can be plugged out and removed, and nobody would notice. And this mm. year, if you plug it out, Stick. I die. <laughs> Oof. Um, same with okay. the arms, okay? You have like this stuff here that implies some. Yeah, she stuff, replaced all that with just, just one bandage, and then the other one's less okay. uh, damaged, purple, injured. Overwhelming in my design, but yeah, it still brings the same cross uh, point across without being too cluttered yeah. and too full of bullshit. Okay. Another thing we did, we uh, because of all the details that were omitted, we were able to make these things here, um, the the garters thicker. Um, they are like now wider and balance out the design more we also completely got rid of the buttons so that's also and all those metal hoops as well that's there needed, if you think about it uh and same you know where we're supposed to like we connect the design a little bit on the sides making these uh into band-aids we now have a bandage design going yeah on. and it's we thicker kind of thicker as well eyes. it's not a different type of glue anymore that comes out of literally nowhere we got rid of my weapon belt which it's okay i'm not allowed to have weapons on twitch um <laughs> Um, nobody needs to see where nobody saw it anyways okay i still have them and we just you know got rid of the pink in that here too we just replaced it with the red because why do we need two colors on the legs yeah we just decluttered my design yeah more harmonizing and now, oh look at that now on to a bad design example so this this is, is a bad design okay shit on it. this is not a bad character design for the medium it's looks like something you'd see in a visual novel it would be a very bad character design for vtubing because the thing is her silhouette, she, she just simply fails the silhouette test. She would not Does fail she? it if her hair hands were like out, okay? Then she would not fail it. But if her hair hands have to be permanently out for her to be recognizable, she would not work for streaming because she would cover the entire fucking stream with her hair hands. That is like not good for VTubing. Um, also, I don't think it's is that bad. If, if it was like a silhouette. Bluish black plus red. Nobody gives a shit about this. Nothing stands out about this. Like, don't get me wrong. I like the design, okay? And she works in the story she's in. Because the thing is, she's yeah. for my own story, okay? Um, she's intended to blend into the background. She's not intended to stand out. Her abilities is what have her, like, make her stand out in the plot. And they are revealed later, so she has to fall under the radar. So in that sense, she works for my uh, story. She works for the plot I've written. She would not work for VTubing. She's failing the silhouette test. She is failing the 40% the rule because she has maybe 20% going on here and 0% going on here. <laughs> um, and if she has something going on here, she's not good for streaming. So she also fails the medium test. She is easy to fan out, I guess, if you don't draw her hair hands. So I yeah. guess she <laughs> excels in that department. But everything else, basically, not really good. Not really good for VTubing. Um, so, let's conclude... The hair hands would be... Keep in mind pain pickle. Will be used for streaming is Stuff like that. So don't design something that will hinder... The stream from being seen, AK, call back to Keep in mind your character will be used for streaming as a medium, work with shapes. Oh, she's reading it out. Give me something to read, man! Give me something to say! I need to say something in the video. Can't just sit here going, hmm, yes. Uh huh. Okay, the top has something to have going on there. That makes people want to look at it. And remember okay, to go for a balanced color palette. Try to incorporate a neutral base color. Let me just go in here so you guys can screenshot if you want. So I'm going to come very tiny. Try to work with neutral base Tiny fanboy nurse. And decide on one to two poppy colors um, to help your design stand out a little bit and make it recognizable. Because if I were to show you a color palette, the one of uh, Hakko's belts, okay? If I were to show you the red, the, the yellow, the white, the cyan, and the black. People would probably associate it with base. So your color yeah. palette also helps you and be recognizable. But don't only rely on colors to be recognizable, okay? Make sure your theme is clear. So <laughs> try to limit yourself. Very educational and, and informative. combination of 50,000 themes at once, okay? Remember, you can always go for upgrades um, later on with, you know, like redebuts with different lore. Um, you, you know what I've not seen as a VTuber? A space cowboy. You always have to incorporate everything you like in your first I've seen a space design. cow, you can and I've seen a space cat girl, like, but I've never seen a space cowboy. The other stuff that maybe would clash.
clash with your uh, current theme. Make sure to balance uh, the details of your design. Keep in mind, more is not always better. Sometimes less is more. And I've seen a dinosaur know, VTuber. Equal, I've never seen a Keep space a dinosaur. No, that'd be kind of stupid. Unless. You receive, the more viral you can actually go. So yeah, that was basically it. Um, do what makes you happy in your design. I missed her. I missed what she said about being viral. Because I was too busy talking about a fucking space dinosaur. God damn it. Many people don't really know where to start when it comes to like a VTuber design. They don't know what to look out for. Then design, I don't know, a persona that is like um, not really having the, the medium of VTubing in mind. And then they get disappointed that it doesn't really resonate with a lot of people because it's something very personal to them. Um, <laughs> Reason it. actually got a lot of backlash uh, in the beginning because some people told me they are totally not a fan of the theme. Uh, they love me, but they don't really like my design. And it was really crushing for me to hear it first. Oh, Isn't that just yeah. their opinion though? Uh, and their you know, criticism um, rather than a cri critique on the model? Stuff too hard because in the end, you have to like your own design, okay? Yeah. Um, you have to make sure you are comfortable with your design because in the end, it'll kind of represent you going forward as a VTuber. So don't really listen to other people when they say, oh, I don't really like When you're a VTuber, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta come to terms of like, you are a tomato. And the VTuber model okay, is just a skin suit. <laughs> and you have to be comfy inside skin suit. So yeah, uh, basically, ignore everything I said, do whatever you want. <laughs> Go ape shit, have fun. <laughs> I will do what she just said there at the end. That seems more, more like it to me. <laughs> wow. This was a... I'm going to butcher saying this name. Yume Kuzukawa. Yume Kuzukawa. This is Yume Kuzukawa, How To, VTuber Design, Summary. <sighs> God damn, this was long. And I feel like there was nothing really for me to react to this really, like not much, not much. What do I say? What do I, what can I say about this other than like, oh, this is kind of interesting, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know what it is like. It, it is definitely informative though, I'll give her that, I'll give her that. And... It's very like knowledgeable when it comes to like the color terms with palettes and shapes, and it's like loads of stuff that you don't. That sometimes some people just generally wouldn't think of that, and they just go, "Oh, just do this and do that," and then well, she basically showed us, you know, with the the before and afters, the process of how she came to the character design of her VTuber model, you know. So like, uh, but yeah, there's some some stuff there to think about. I'm definitely after seeing that and seeing. Like, what I thought before watching this video and then after seeing it, it's definitely... I could definitely see a YouTube short summary, my own version of this. Like a skit. <laughs> a knockoff. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think of this video? You should... Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can, you know, like it. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to her. Him. It. What are they? I don't know. It sounded like a girl, but they said that it was a femboy zombie. No, it wasn't a zombie. It was a femboy mentally ill nurse. Anyways, <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.